Hey everyone, so here's a question on factorization and this question was given by Vipin. So here's a question, factorize a square minus a minus 12. Now how to solve this one? So if in 8th class you might have learned some identities, right? a plus b whole square, a minus b whole square. So let me write down them again. So we know that a plus b whole square is a square plus 2ab plus b square. Similarly, you have also learnt a minus b whole square which is nothing but a square minus 2ab uh, plus b square. Third one is a plus b into a minus b which is a square minus b square. And the last one is x plus a and we have x plus b is equal to x square plus a plus b into x plus a b. Now let us see which identity we can use here. Now why I have written is to just to explain you which identity to use when question is given to factorize. Let us see the first one here. We have a plus b whole square. In a plus b whole square identity, the first term and the last term are square. In the given question, we have a, a square. That's good. The last term is 12. We know that 12 is not perfect square. We want some square here like a 4 or 9. Like 4 is square of 2, 3 is 9 is square of 3 like that. We want square. But 12 is not a square. This means we cannot use the first identity. We cannot use second identity because second identity also we have a square and b square. Look at the third one. In third one we have a square minus b square. Only two terms are given here. But in given question we have a three terms. This means we cannot even use the third identity. So the last one is x plus a into x plus b. We have to use this one. So this is also called splitting the middle term. That is we have to split the middle term in such a way that if you look at the identity. This is this method is called splitting the middle term. If you look here, it's like a plus b and here a into b. I have to find out like last one is a into b. In last term we have a 12. Means I have to multiply two numbers such a way that I should get minus 12. Okay, minus sign we have to take. And the same two numbers if I add them. I should get here there's an only a is written it means it is like one is there as a coefficient okay so the same two numbers when I add them I should get minus one okay, I'm just comparing this with identity again I'm gonna explain you so here if you observe x is present just ignore that x here a plus b is given and a into b is given means if you look at the last term the, la the constant which is given it's 12 right and a b means a into b so they are multiplying the two numbers to get minus 12 and the same two numbers when you add it should get minus 1 right x is a variable here we are talking about the constant so which are these two numbers so 12 goes in like many tables we have a 2 6 are 12 yes and we have a 3 4 are 12 and then we have 1 12 are 12 that's it we don't have any other number now we have to find out a combination in this so if I take 2 and 6 6 minus 2 will not gonna give me minus 1 right so this is not possible if I take 3 and 4 yes 3 4 is 12 and also 3 minus 4 is minus 1 yeah so this is a perfect number 3 and 4 so we're gonna take 3 and 4 so we got these two numbers but how to write down them so here if you observe they have given minus 1 means 3 minus 4 is minus 1 means one number will be 3 and second number will be minus 4 okay we're not taking minus 3 and 4 because minus 3 or like if, if it's like okay let me just explain you once again it is 3 plus minus 4 I wrote minus before I just forgot to put plus sign it's 3 plus minus 4 will gonna give us minus 1 yeah if I take minus 3 plus 4 what happened I'll get answer 1 with positive sign but in the question they have given minus sign here that is why I'm taking negative sign with 4 and also 3 into minus 4 is 12 minus 12 yeah that is what we want here minus 12 so 3 and minus 4 are the two numbers we got. 
now we're gonna split the middle term now once we got the numbers so to split the middle term so I'm gonna write the number question once again it's a, a square minus a minus 12 so a is uh, x in the given uh, formula so if I split this it will be a square you have to split only the middle term you have to keep the first term and last term same as it is so minus a I want I'm gonna write it as plus 3a minus 4a and you don't have to write 12 as 3 into 4 that's okay you can just keep it minus 12 so first and last term you don't touch it you just split the middle term that is what this method called splitting the middle term using the fourth identity so 3a minus 4a I have written you can also write minus 4a plus 3 or 3 also when that will be done you will get the answer in that way also so once we have split the middle term you have to start grouping the numbers means you have to start taking the common factor first I'm going to take the first I'm going to do the grouping I'm going to group the first two terms and the last two terms okay if I take the first two terms you can see I have a a square and 3a so a is common in these two terms take the a out if I take a as a common outside in the first one in the first term a square is given so out of a square one a is taken so one a is left so I'll get a here we have plus sign put plus sign here so from 3a if you have taken a 3 will be left okay so we have taken a common the next two term what we can take common so here I can take minus 4 common see I have taken minus sign also because minus is present in last two terms both minus minus and 4 I have taken because uh, 12 goes in 4 table also that's why so if I take in minus 4 outside what will be left here only a will be left now this is very important here we have minus sign if I put minus sign what happens see you're multiplying here minus sign right if you open the bracket minus 4 into a you will get minus 4a but minus into minus if you when you multiply when you open the bracket you will get plus but here the sign given is minus yeah so that is why you should not take minus here in this case you should go and take plus sign right so I'm gonna write down plus sign here so it's a plus next we have 12 so 4 3 is 12 so I'll write down 3 again look at this we again have a common here we have a, a plus 3 and a plus 3 I can take a plus 3 again common outside so from the entire term here I'm gonna take a plus 3 out so a plus 3 if I take common here only single a is left and if I from here if I take a plus 3 out from the second term minus 4 will be left that's it so the answer here is a plus 3 into a minus 4 so that's it I hope it's clear now in case you have any question or doubt you can just put it down in the comment and I'll try to solve it thank you so much for watching